In this episode, we're going to be taking a look at and doing a tasting and review of Cenote Añejo right here on the Tequila Hombre coming up next. Hello and welcome to this episode of the Tequila Hombre where we're taking a look at Cenote Añejo. Now, uh, if you're wondering where the name Cenote came from, it is an underground, uh, like pretty much like an underground pool uh, that is in the Yucatan Peninsula. And it's basically formed when uh, a, the roof of a cavern uh, collapses and allows water to get into these uh, sinkholes that are uh, made of limestone under the ground. Uh, and so this tequila actually says in their marketing that uh, they incorporate the flavors and, and the feeling of uh, a cenote and the Yucatan Peninsula into their tequila. So I'm interested to see what that is all about. But let's get into how this tequila is made and let's take a look at that right now. All right, cenote tequila añejo is made at NOM 1472. Uh, the distiller name is Fabrica de Tequila Finos, and it is uh, located in Tequila, Jalisco, uh, which is the lowlands of the Valles area of Jalisco. The master distillers are Toro Fuentes. They use Weber Blue Agave. It's 100% Weber Blue Agave for this tequila. It is uh, the cooking, the, the agave are cooked using an autoclave under high pressure, so typically they cook uh, faster when using high pressure. They use an, a roller mill for, to extract the sugars from the fibers once it's cooked. And then they use a stainless steel fermentation tank to ferment the sugars after they are extracted. It is then two times distilled using a stainless steel still with copper coils. And then uh, it after it's done with distillation, it is aged for one year in American oak barrels. The lowest price I was able to find online for this was $54.99. Uh, I bought this bottle at, at a local shop for around 50, I think it was $57.99. All right, I'm back and let's get now into the tasting and review of the tequila. Of course, I'm using the Harita Stazel Nosy Glass. My glass of preference when evaluating tequila. I really do like this glass. It really um, makes the tequila pop, so you can get all the nice flavors and nuances from it. All right, let's put the lid back on. Now, this bottle is really kind of cool. It's a Grosch-type bottle, and it has a Grosch-type lid with a copper agave on it, and it's actually really cool. So I, I actually, you know, depending on how I like the tequila or whatever, I'm still probably going to keep the bottle uh, just because how cool it is. Let's put the top back on here so I don't accidentally spill it. All right, and move that to the side. All right, so let's take a look at this. We'll swirl around the glass a little bit and see how it coats the glass. So looking at it, it's kind of, you can see it coats the glass real nice. You can see the, the legs and the tears are just now forming on it. So it should have a nice creamy mouthfeel to it. It is a, you know, dark amber color uh, very clear and clean looks very nice let's see how it smells hmm so I get cooked agave on the nose which is that cinnamony uh, baking spices kind of smell to it I get oakiness on it I get a nice mineralness from the water and I get vanilla and caramel coming through on it as well. Yeah, nice sweetness, nice vanilla and caramel, but it's not overly powering, overpowering. It smells very nice. Uh, I actually don't mind the smell at all. All right, so let's see what this tastes like. I'm excited to try it here. Mm. So I'm getting cooked agave on the front. It does have a nice creamy uh, mouthfeel to it. 
a little slight oakiness coming through in the middle and I'm getting vanilla and caramel on the end of it. It actually seems to be pretty nicely balanced. Uh, it, there's nothing on it that's screaming at me that, you know, hey, I don't like this. Um, it's a very nice sipping tequila. Yeah, this is a really nice Añejo. It's got a the oakiness, there's a lot of oak there. So if you're somebody that, that doesn't like a lot of oak, you like the uh, agave to be more dominant, <clears throat> then um, this wouldn't be for you. But if you're uh, an Añejo lover and somebody that maybe came from drinking bourbon like I did, this is actually really enjoyable. You really get a nice um, sense of the wood and the barrel in here with the vanilla and the caramel. It doesn't taste artificial at all. Um, it tastes very nice. It's very enjoyable. And I think for the price, it's uh, it's worth putting on the shelf. And I've heard good things. I've heard bad things about it. But um, my uh, opinion is I like it. It's something that I, I'll definitely sip on and keep on my shelf. If you've tried Cenote, I'd love to hear what you think about it. Uh, please post some comments below and let me know if, if you've uh, felt the same way or not. Um, other than that, don't forget to give us a like if you've liked the review. Don't forget to subscribe because we've got some other great reviews uh, coming up as well as some other inf informational videos that I'll be working on for you guys. And I'd love to have you uh, see that great information. So don't forget to click, to click the subscribe button. And then uh, that is pretty much it. So now we're going to get into announcing our winner for our next set of G4 glasses. All right, so I've loaded the names into the uh, spreadsheet here. We'll click the random number generator. And our winner is Antonio Rivera. Antonio Rivera, please message me with your, your uh, address so I can send you out your free set of G4 We uh, Glen Karen glasses. Uh, well, that's it for now. I'm going to finish drinking my uh, glass of Cenote Añejo. And until next time, like I always say, life is too short to drink bad tequila. Salute.